Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create automatically generated blobs in Elementor using the premium add-ons for Elementor. The blobs we are going to create will look just like this over here. And this blob over here is seated on a carousel. And someone is also able to navigate through the carousel. They are also able to click on the buttons. We also have this other animated blob. There are actually two blobs seated on each other. And someone is able to select the text as well. And over here we have another blob. Down below here we have another blob with a number of nodes also having an animation. And in this video I will show you how to set up everything just like this over here. So back into our Elementor editor I have pre-made sections over here where we will add our animated blobs. And these will be automatically generated using the premium add-ons for Elementor. And to have the blob generator feature enabled for your sections, just like for example when I select this section under layout, there is a blob generator feature. This feature comes only in the pro version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. Just like when you come over here in your plugins area, under the menu for the premium add-ons for Elementor, you realize that you have the blow feature only available for the pro users. So in case you don't see that feature over here, when you're a pro user, kindly just come back here to the features option and make sure that you have that activated. And by activating, you have to make sure it is in green. Back to our pre-made sections, I'm going to select my section, come to the blob generator and activate that. Once I enable that, I'm going to say add an item. And now premium add-ons for Elementor gives us two options. We can use blobs from external sources or we can create our own. Okay, so if we are to use blobs from external sources, they give us platforms where we can actually generate blob codes or codes that will enable premium add-ons for Elementor display blobs on our website. We have the blobmaker.app. We can change colors to what we want. We can change the nodes of the blobs and the randomness of that blob. Then we can as well copy the code and come back here to our premium add-ons for Elementor section, then we can paste our blob. If you don't see it visible, just make sure that you increase your z-index from 1 to 2 and that way you'll be able to see your blob and over here that's how it looks like. But I really don't like to use this option over here because it limits you. For example, we will not be able even to animate our blobs using the premium add-ons for Elementor. If we are pulling in custom codes and at the same time we only can change the color of the blob from the blob maker app or from any other platform that you use to create the blob all right so what i'm going to do is simply delete this and i'll add a new item and in this case our blob source will be the create your own this means that we'll use premium add-ons for elementor to generate for us the blobs this way we'll have even more possibilities to do a lot more with our generated blobs since we are not having a preview of our blob, I'm first of all going to increase the z-index to 2. Now we already have a blob showing up. We are going to change the nodes and the randomness and then the colors and we see how that will look like. I'll change the nodes to 2, the randomness to 7 and the size to 7, 710. Alright, I can regenerate the blob by saying generate new blob shape. I'll come down here to the color option. I'll choose a color of my choice. I'll make it a little transparent. I'm going to position my blob on my page. I'll give it a width percentage of 55 and the vertical offset 17. All right, so let's have this in the preview. We see how that looks like. All right, now we have our blob showing up over here on our carousel and still we are able to navigate through the carousel. Now, how do we get this blob animated? Back into our editor, we are going to scroll down below here to the option of animate. We'll activate that option and voila, we now have our blob animating. The next thing that we are going to do is to add the duration or increase or decrease the duration of the animation. If you make it like 10, it will be really slow. If you make it like one, that way the animation will go way fast. All right, so I'll make it something like five. Let me preview. Awesome. 
There is another feature we have to look into. We can hide this blob on certain devices. For example, if we don't want this blob to show up on the mobile, so by going to the mobile option, you see that this blob doesn't really look nice. Here on the mobile option, you can either one resize the blob so it shows up pretty well on the mobile device and position it to maybe something like that. All right. However, if you don't want this blob to show up on this device, you can simply just say hide blob on mobile. And voila, we no longer have the blob showing up on our mobile device. And if we go back to our desktop version, we still have blob position exactly where we left it. If now we preview our section on a real-time mobile device, you see that now our blob doesn't show up on the mobile device because we actually hid our blob on the mobile. And if we decide to preview it on a desktop device, or oh, right there it shows up. Okay, let's now get into the other sections. I'll exit the responsive mode. And now let's add a blob to this other section. I'll select my section, come to blob generator, I'll enable, I'll add an item, I'll use the create your source option, I'll select the nodes to be 3, I'll leave the randomness to 5, and I'll change the size to 500. That is 500 pixels. I'll leave the Z index to 1, the horizontal offset will be 5, and I'll set the animation duration to be 2. I'll as well change the color to the color code of my choice. Beautiful. To have blobs that are kind of overlapping each other, it's very simple. Just simply come back over here and duplicate this item. So you have two items. And that's how you can achieve that kind of effect. Now let's go add the other blob down below here. I'll simply just duplicate the last item, open it up, come here to the offset option, and I'll just simply enter in my figures, or you can simply use the scroll knob over here to position it where you want. And that's how now we have our blob down below here, fully animated and matching all the styling and the color like the first one. All right, now let's add the very last blob option down below here if i'm unable to select this section i can just use the navigator to have our section selected come to the blob generator enable that option the source will be create your own i'll change the nodes to 100 the randomness to 4 i'll leave the size to 400 all right now you see we have more nodes for our blob in this case instead of using a color i'll simply just select over here and use a gradient so here I'll enter in my gradient color codes. Awesome. There we have our gradients. I'll come to my horizontal offset and I'll give it a 34 to position my blob just kind of right here in the middle. And then come over here to the animation option. I'll enable that and the duration is 4. We are now going to preview this and see how beautiful this looks like. I love this the other section and finally our very last section showing up over here with so many nodes and animated with a gradient. That's how you can add automatically generated blobs that are animated in Elementor using the premium add-ons for Elementor. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video don't forget to give it a like. If you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise have a good time and goodbye.